I'm issuing an arrest warrant for the mass vigilante known as Spider-Man. Spider-Man, starring Andrew Garfield and directed by Mark Webb. Now, um, this is going to be what I hope to be, if it does what I hope. I hope it's going to be the underdog movie that people are going to say, oh yeah, we're going to see it, and it's going to be awesome, and they're not going to expect it to be this awesome. Um, what, okay, what we can expect from the trailer, what we got from the trailer, well, we get Peter Parker, and he has... Gain spider powers, of course. Um, we don't really know how he gets his hands on the suit or whatnot, but that's, that's later on to be explained. Um, then we, we have him finding something that belongs to his dad. Um, I don't know what to make about what's going to happen to Uncle Ben. I mean, obviously he's going to die. Uh, here's the thing that I wonder, though. Are they going to say, with great power comes great responsibility? Or are they going to say that? I want to know if they're going to say it word for word. Okay? Like, like maybe he'll say something different along those lines. But uh, I wonder if he's going to, you know, actually say that line. It's, it's interesting. Um, we have, uh, gonna, we're going to have a, a love, love relationship between Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker. So, and that looks interesting, you know, I really like, see, the thing with Peter Parker in the comics that I always got was, he was always himself, okay, he didn't act sh sh shy around anyone, if there's, like, jerks or bullies or whatever you want to call them around him, he wouldn't even, he just wouldn't bother to waste his breath on them, you know, but if there were people he liked and enjoy, he'd always act a little goofy, a little weird. It wasn't just Spider-Man, and but when you compare Tobey Maguire when he's talking, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll come by and have some, some of your, your coffee some sometime. You know, uh, he was always like that. That guy was always shy around girls, and you know, I think Peter Parker would be shy around girls, but he was always himself. You know, that's what was always so intriguing for me. And so you get that scene where he walks in her apartment from her window. How did you get out there? Fire escape. It's 20 stories. The doorman's intimidating. I love that line. I think that's, that's, fun. that's exactly how Peter would talk, you know? Especially since they're friends, he wouldn't be intimidated by her that much, you know? They're both the brains. At least I think that's the route they're going for this, to be Quint Stacy more of a smarter character. Um, then we have her dad, who's going to be more of the, the police officer, kind of hunting Spider-Man, you know? I'm interested. I, I really want to see what they got. So the lizard, though, is the villain here. And this is what makes or breaks it. Because I trust Andrew Garfield. I trust the girl who plays Gwen Stacy. She looks like she's going to do a good job with it. I, I'm okay with all the other stuff. We still haven't seen anything of J. Jonah Jameson. But they're not going to top J.K. Simmons. They're just not. I'm not even sure if they'll even try. But in any case... Um, in any case... The, the movie may break or be made by what happens with the lizard. So, obviously, Kirk Connors is involved in Peter Parker's parents' past somehow. Because Peter Parker finds this old briefcase or whatever of, of uh, his father's and it leads him to Kirk Connors. Um, so, and Kirk Connors in here, he seems to be a little bit more menacing. You know, he seems to be a little bit more diabolical, where he kind of knows what's going on and happening to him and he doesn't care. You know, like uh, other versions of the Lizard, like Spectacular Spider-Man version, he doesn't want this change to happen, but it's already happening to him and he can't control it. But uh, this Lizard seems to fully know what's going on with him. and uh, But, you know, I don't mind changes like that. I don't even think that's a difference from the comic books. Really, like, I haven't read anything with the lizard, okay? I haven't. Uh, but 
um, you know, I don't think that's a difference from the comic books. And even if it was, if they can make Doc Ock, who is never a sympathetic villain in the comic books, and make him a sympathetic villain in Spider-Man 2, they can take liberties with characters like that. I don't mind too much. What's my fear of this movie? The thing that I worry about when I see this is going to be, um... It's going to be... Is it going to be too dark? Okay, I mean, like, the, the lighting and stuff is really... The, the setting... They look like a lot of dark scenes and a lot of dark moments. Is it going to be dark? I don't want it to be dark. This is Spider-Man, guys! At the very least, I want Spider-Man at his core to be a good person and a charming... Uh, you know, guy that's, that's quipping lines every every second, you know, when he's out there. Oh, I, we see some different shots of Spider-Man swinging through the city. I am so glad it's not all from the first-person perspective. Oh, I, I was such a relief. But And it looks, actually, you know, I think it looks crisper. I think those swinging scenes, even though I don't see a lot of them, they look more, I don't know, I just think they, they, they stand out more. I don't know, maybe it's the colors... Maybe it's just the movement feels more real. I don't really know, but uh, I think it looks better than the older version. What I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to Andrew Garfield's performance as Peter Parker. That's what I'm looking forward to. Because Tobey Maguire, as I've said, wasn't the greatest Peter Parker. It's not that he was horrible. I mean, he had a different type of Peter Parker than what I'm used to in the comic books. But when you think about it, it's not, like, that's kind of what we want, you know? Peter Parker in the comic books is, we we want it off the page. And Tobey Maguire wasn't off the page. He wasn't, like, scribbled on another page, or well, I don't even know what that means. But, you know, you know, like, he wasn't right off the page for us. And um, I, I want to see if Andrew Garfield can pull off Peter Parker the way we've always wanted him to be. So that, that's, my, that's what I'm looking forward to. I really want to see what Andrew Garfield does with this role. So yeah, I'm hoping that uh, the, the Amazing Spider-Man is the underdog movie. I, I hope it's better than the, Aven than the Avengers, okay? That's just for me personally, because my favorite Marvel comic superhero is Spider-Man. And out of the Avengers, the only ones that I really like is Iron Man. That's As you can see here, I'm more of a... DC guy, but uh, I I like I like I, I like uh, Marvel too. Don't get me wrong, I'm not biased, but uh, I like Spider Man more than Iron Man, and out of the Avengers characters, Iron Man's really the only guy I kind of like. So yeah, that's uh that's a uh, that's um I I'm really I am looking forward to the Amazing Spider Man. I wasn't until I saw this trailer though. I wasn't really big on the other trailer. This one's kind of getting me excited for it. Um, so that comes out in July, July 3rd, 2012, of course. Um, so yeah, that's it's going to be coming out. And I, I can't wait to see what happens. Here's hoping. Be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and be sure to check out the other two videos of my superhero predictions, The Avengers and The Dark Knight Rises.